Recently, there have been extraordinary advances in the field of immunotherapy. National Institutes of Health Supported Immunotherapy Research is enabling researchers to successfully treat blood diseases, including several forms of cancer. Immunotherapy is being able to harness a patient's own immune system to fight a multitude of diseases. The way it's done today is new, but the idea of immunotherapy has been around for over 100 years. 10 years, 15 years from now, the traditional chemotherapies that make hair fall out, that make blood counts go down, may be replaced by more specific, gentle, and more effective immune-based therapies. In labs across the world, including Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York City, researchers are studying how to engineer a patient's own immune cells to find and destroy cancer cells. When we started to learn more about the immunology of tumors as well as the immune system itself, there was the realization that there are other aspects of the immune system, such as T cells, which is what we utilize uh, very heavily, that may be more effective um, in targeting and killing off tumors. The way we do that is it's a cell-based therapy called chimeric antigen receptor therapy. CAR T cell treatment involves removing a type of white blood cell, the T lymphocyte, from the patient. These T cells are then genetically altered to recognize and fight the patient's cancer cells. They are then in the lab and transfused back into the patient. So it's a treatment that once it's been uh, uh, set up and activated could persist for a very long time and that's another unique feature of immunotherapy. When you see under the microscope and realize that there's no cancer cells there even seven days after receiving CAR T cells, this is actually working. But I think there's still a lot of work to, do, to develop these cells to further understand the immune system, to further understand the tumor biology such that we can modify the cells in a way that it can efficiently and 100% of the time eradicate all of the disease. The field of hematology is uniquely placed for this research as T cells can easily be collected from the patient's blood and just as easily reinfused into the patient. Blood is a really great starting point for cancer research. It's as easy as getting blood samples drawn, just a simple finger prick or venue puncture to get the blood samples. You're going to get a ton of leukemia cells that way to really answer your questions. We know that it can work, um, and now what's left is to try to unravel uh, the last bits. We very much hope that not only will the um, support for research on cancer therapy uh, be maintained and increase, but we especially hope that the support for immunotherapy will increase. There are a lot more research needs to be done. People are asking for it, patients are asking uh, for it. A successful approach to any problem is going to require innovation. And I think that it's NIH funding that is most likely to fund some of these um, uh, more innovative approaches. Now is the time to invest in the National Institutes of Health to launch the field into the next generation of care for hematologic conditions.